The experience is the experiment. <laughs> Something I've been thinking about a lot is this idea of like the preconceived artist, the preconceived notion of what an artist needs to be or a musician or a producer or a writer and how people have this idea of what it takes to get, you know, successful in this industry. I can't speak for other arts. I can't speak for other industries because I don't know it, but I've been around enough successful people in the music industry to realize that there is no there's no preconceived there's no set standard of what it takes to get somewhere i know people who are so unbelievably capable when it comes to theory and so knowledgeable when it comes to theory and can can give you any emotion on the keys or whatever their their instrument is and have just this immense talent and and education in that side of music but struggle unbelievably when it comes to being creative or being able to connect to the masses they go hey i spent all these years at this school at berkeley at whatever it is juilliard and yet I have no idea why my music's not connecting to people. And then I also see the other side where it's people who who have absolutely no knowledge and they struggle to kind of convey what they're thinking musically because they don't have this ability to automatically kind of um, conjure melodies or progressions that they're hearing in their head they don't have they have the ability to think it they have the ability to to understand where they'd like to go but they don't have any ability to make the actual movements to make it happen to write it out and then you also see the opposite side of both of these you see people who are so unbelievably talented and so unbelievably knowledgeable in theory to where them starting a song is is a piece of cake. It's nothing. And a lot of those people do have the ability to connect with people. And I had a teacher at school. I don't know if you watch this, Mike Wyckoff, um, who was just one of the sickest piano players I've ever seen in my life, but had this wild, ornate sense where he could, he could convey these teachings in such a, a regular, mundane not mundane or just a, a simple sort of, uh, I don't know. He could do it in layman's terms, if you will. And I'm so not, you know, uh, classically trained. I, I can hardly, I, I have, I have this disease with my eyes where it's called conversion disorder. I've talked about it in nauseam on here and I have an unbelievable amount of trouble looking and realizing what knows and what note is on the staff. I think that's the right terminology. Um, so you see people like him who he, he understands every rule, but also understands how to break it and when it's necessary and how to separate the, the learnings from the creativity and, and use both. And on the other side of that, I know people who couldn't tell you what note it is on the keyboard, but can write some of the most amazing music just based off of ear. And it's just this weird sort of preconceived idea of what you have to be in this industry is so false and I guess that's something that I'm really trying to spread and share with this podcast is if I can show you enough people who have worked their ass off and got where they want to go, there is only one thing that they all have in common. Only one. And that's the, the, the working their ass part, at working their ass off part. That's working hard. That's being relentless and working through being tired and working through being not creative and, and asking for help when they need it. It's not this, this, what school they went to. It's not how much knowledge that they, they do or don't have in a certain, a certain aspect of music. Don't get me wrong. All that stuff does help. And if I could recommend one thing to a kid out there who wants to know how, how to make their life easier as a producer is go do two things, go play in a band with your friends and also go, go learn piano. Like it's your, like it's your job already. Cause it will make your life easier. If you know, if you know those rules and you also understand how to break them and you understand how to play with people and how being the the best isn't always being 
the most shreddy. It's not always going the hardest. A lot of times it's just understanding what the song needs or what the, the artist needs and making that happen. Or as an artist, understanding how to do a beautiful key change, but in a way where it's still you know, can can be received by the average person. And when I go home and I'm with my friends, I grew up with almost no friends who had anything musically in their body, my favorite people in the world. But like, when I talk to them and, and I'm like, yeah, I fucked up this part. And they're like, where? And it's just this reminder of like, they, most people, 99.9% .9 of the world doesn't understand where you fucked up. They don't understand that, that there's a, a little bit of a groove or, or your hi-hat was off once. They understand the song as a whole and they understand if they like it or they didn't. If it connects with them, if, they, if it didn't. Can they sing along to it? Can they not? And I, it's just this, this, this lesson that I want to stress that I'm trying to stress to myself as well. Remember, this whole solo podcast is just me speaking without any preconceived idea of what I, I want to speak about. I'm just going off of the thoughts that I'm having throughout my, my regular day in my own head or with my friends. And I just really want to stress out there, or stress to you out there that if you're not the best at the piano in the room, be the hardest working. Be the best person to have around. Be fun, be kind. You know, a, a really talented person who's an asshole is going to get kicked out of more rooms than somebody who's pretty good, but a really good person. It makes the energy feel right. I mean, that's a huge part of this is like, you look at somebody like Benny Blanco. Is he the most talented piano player? I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. But he brings something to a room that causes hits to be made. And I think that's the energy. That's the the mojo, that's the vibe, that's the interactions you're having with these people that help create the music. Can you put together a community of people that fit together and understand each other and have fill the gaps that the others don't fill? I don't know. I feel like if you want this badly enough, it doesn't just come down to one thing. It comes down to a whole slew of different pieces of the puzzle. And I urge you, if you are the best piano player, go also become the, the nicest, best person you could be. And I guarantee that'll help. If you're the best, nicest person in the room and you're a terrible piano player, go practice. Go learn a little bit more. It will help. It will help. But it's not the end all be all. I love you all. Thank you so much for listening along and, and uh, coming on this journey with me. <laughs> this fucking wild high-minded journey. I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next Friday. Goodbye. The experience is the experiment. <laughs>